I was not an apostle when I came to greet my wife, who was my fiance then, and she passed out in the in the house, passed out. The mother was panicking. I said, Leave her. There are lightweight, there are featherweight, there are paperweight. There are lightweight, featherweight, there are pa pa paperweight, paper, paper, paperweight, and there are heavyweights. It's a functionality of your inner strength. There are people that go through the fire and they are smiling. And there are people going through water and they are dying. I told you there are people that are carrying elephants and running. And some are carrying ants and panting. Why? Inner strength. We finished praying one time in a witchcraft zone. We finished praying in a witchcraft zone. A place that was heavily infested with witchcraft operations. We are done praying. And we lay down. And we had birds and bats that were flying all over the place. We were sleeping after praying. A brother could not sleep. He was panicking. He would tap me and say, please, can you hear witchcraft? Witchcraft? I said, I can't hear. He said, but uh, listen, listen. I said, why will I listen? Whatever, the, whatever is not your intention should not get your attention. So why will I listen? I said, I'm not going to listen to that. If it's not my intention, it cannot get my attention. There are so many of us, we are worried, so worried about what the devil is saying. You are so worried about, you, you see, you carry yourself to the hospital and you want them to check. You are now worried that they found something. You went there yourself. You said they should check. And they found. He that seek it shall find. So why are you bothered? Am I communicating here? You must be ready. Strength. And there are people that you don't understand. Sometimes while you are going through some battles in your life, God is helping you to develop capacity. Building strength. That is why when I see this happening around today, around married couples, around even single folks. I was not apostle. When I said, if you are a witch, come out and witches were running out. I was not apostle. I was not apostle when I came to greet my wife, who was my fiance then, and she passed out in the, in the house. Passed out. The mother was panicking. I said, leave her. Leave her. In the name of Jesus. Why won't you give your son to that kind of girl? Your daughter to that kind of girl? Why won't you give your daughter to that kind of man? Somebody that brought your daughter back to life in front of you. Bride price paid. I mean, when, when, when I had to go to our hometown to pay the diary, I had some money with me and I was very arrogant. I drove there. I was arrogant because I felt I had enough. I was arrogant. I said, let them bring the bill. When they mentioned only two items, I was broke immediately. <laughs> only two items. What were the items? The items were not even part of the main item. They said when her mother was growing up, some people grew with the mother. And those people are about 50. I have to settle each of them. When the father was a boy, he was, he was in a group like that. I have to settle. By the time they gave me the bill for those two, money finished. Then I said, now let's now come to her. When she was growing up, there were people that carried her. <laughs> How do I say there's no money? So I was looking at them like that. They spoke and I called the elder sister. I said, can I talk to you? She said, yes. I said, come. There's no money. Oh. She said, ah. And they want cash. I started praying. I said, Holy Spirit, please help me. This is eight hours journey. Please help me. Please help me. That was why I knew why she didn't follow me. She allowed me to go. <laughs> when I told her how much I had, she just smiled. He said, go. It was a lot of money for me. And I said, Lord, please help me. And I told them, I said, I was coming. I went inside. I was praying. They were waiting. I said, Lord, please help me. Lord, please help me. After a while, they were getting tired and bored. 
one by one they were leaving and the lord gave me a word he said when you get out the second row there is somebody because they sat down the uncles old men he said the second row the man sitting there had a child that's deaf so i came out i pointed to the man the man said i said see you have a child i said yes yes i said you should bring the child they brought the child i prayed the ear open when the ear popped open all of them started bringing their family they were bringing family a man's gift make it room for him they were bringing family members ah. i was casting out devils as i was casting out devils i sat down i said please i'm about the beat they said leave that one leave that one is it not our daughter who will give you who will give you <laughs> who will give you that's why i tell people that i'm married by prophecy am i talking to somebody right now i'm married by prophecy and and and, and they looked at me and they said oh, well, it was a, i mean they brought food they made food for me i ate as up to 4 a.m i was attending to people and the whole place was packed out they were bringing family members am i communicating right now you must develop inner strength because there's a day coming when you will need to manifest that which god has put inside of you if you faint in the day of adversity it is your strength make sure you leave your comment below for more updates thank you for watching bye